Hey y'all, welcome to Lone Star MTB on this typical sunny, hot and humid day here in Central Texas. Uh, we're gonna be talking about tires. So we have my brother's 5010 here with the standard setup, which is the same thing I had on my Bronson as well as this 5010 before I sold it to him. And that's the Minion DHF 2.5 WT 3C and the Minion DHR2 2.4 WT. Great setup, great tires, but an issue I was beginning to have with them, namely with the one in the front, is as I was getting to be a more aggressive rider and starting to push harder in corners and things like that, I always felt like the front was starting to lose traction. And that's pretty unnerving and definitely does not inspire confidence. Um, and it got to the point to where even as to, after I played with air pressure and things like that, I still wasn't getting the kind of performance out of them that I wanted. So I'd been hearing a lot of buzz about Michelin. I thought, hey, why not? We'll try it. Worst case scenario is they're worse than the, than the Minions and I go back, but it never hurts to try. So I give you the Michelin Wild Enduros. Did Wild Enduro front and rear. The rear is the Gum X 3D compound, 2.4. The front is the Magi X 2.4. The big difference between the Magi X is the side knobs are gonna be considerably stiffer compared to the DHF, which is the side knobs are a lot softer, a lot softer. And I think that's kind of what was giving me the impression that the tires were squirming in the corners. So let's get some air in these tires, head to the trail, give them a proper rip. This will be my third ride on them. And so far after two, I'm pretty impressed. But let's get on trail and I'll give you some more thoughts and impressions. Well, as you can see, parking lot's pretty much empty because I'm the only dum-dum starting at 11.45 and it's already in the 90s. Oh, uh, this is Fox Park on the Leon Creek Greenway. Kind of my go-to spot because it's right down the street from the house. It's got tons of elevation. I'm just kidding, it's flat as hell. But it's got a good mix up of variety. A lot of loose over hard. A lot of this uh, marble size, heavily rock. It's really loose. off camber stuff. But right down the street from the house, it's not too bad. Definitely enough to go out, get your mind right, get into nature. Get some pedals and a little bit of exercise. This section here coming up can be pretty fun. A little sketchy, it's off camber. With a, a ledge on the right hand side, about an eight to 10 foot drop in some places to the creek bed, which is not really a creek right now, it's just dry. Sections like this, where it's off camber, you can really notice a difference between the DHF and the Magi X Michelin. It really fights in hard. 
on that off camber stuff. You're able to push, even though it's off camber and pushing you towards the edge, it still bites in. So this section of trail is called Birds of Prey. And it's got this really fine powder, almost like sand over hard pack. So very much so loose over hard. A little chunky downhill. I appreciate everyone that's subscribed. The channel's had some major growth in the last five, six months for sure. I'd love it if you'd subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up to really help. It means other people can find the channel, find the content, and it helps the channel grow. I'd really love to see it hit a thousand subscribers. If you guys are liking what you're getting. This is where you can put your dropper down, really start carving in. These are all really flat corners and give you a great feel for what the Michelin's Magi X's can do. You hear the front tire starting to walk a little bit there, but that's partly my fault. I didn't have the front end weighted like I should. So in the Minions, I ran 19 all the time. Didn't matter conditions, whatever. Always 19. After trying some different pressures, it looks like I'm gonna be settling on those same numbers for these Michelins as well. 19 in the front, 25 in the rear, just seems to be my Goldilocks spot. It feels just right in the corners and just right over the rocky stuff too. So it's little sections like this where I feel like the tire, the front really comes alive. Fast, flowy, loose. Really push into the corners. Never could do this as well on my minions, my DHF. It always felt like it was gonna wash after that drop in. Really pleasantly surprised. I was uh, concerned about going from a 2.5 in the front to a 2.4. Unfortunately, that's all that Michelin makes right now is a 2.4. But I don't miss the 2.5. I thought I would, and I don't. If anything, the 2.4, which makes sense, feels a little snappier and not quite so sluggish as the 2.5. This tire does really well over that loose pebbly stuff, really well. So we're at a section of the trail known as Parkwood. Well known, maybe not to some, but as you can tell, nice and smooth. Really, really nice. Ride's really nice too. And then you've got all this chunk. So we're here at the top. It's just kind of a, a big hill. It's on the most elevation you'll find out here. Not a whole lot, but what's here is fun. You know, they've got, I don't know, one, two, three, four or five different lines out here. But it's all this type of chunky, janky gnar, pretty much the whole way down. Really, really fun to ride. And that was something else that I noticed, difference-wise between the Michelin and the Maxxis. You know, feels a lot more planted going down that kind of rough stuff, you know? 
I think a lot of that has to do with those side knobs being so much stiffer and uh, being a heavier rider like I am, I think that really helps a whole lot too. So let's go give it a run. We'll hit main line. That seems to be the longest standing, probably most popular line out here. It's a fun line. Let's do it. Main line. Back at the top, gonna run main line again, but to a little side offshoot trail. For the life of me, I can't remember what it's called, so. But I believe there's a sign right before it splits, so. Tire is so good, little double. fun oh man i am digging these tires so final thoughts after ride number three i'm really impressed and they feel like they're just getting better like they're starting to break in things like that they feel a little more sticky even more planted than they did the, the first couple of rides um really really big difference to me um from the dhf up front to this Magi X on the rear. Those stiffer knobs, man, they really, really push all that loose, loose stuff out of the way and, and, and get to the, the more compact, hard packed stuff underneath. Really, really provides a lot of grip. The rear tire really doesn't feel night and day different from the DHR2. It feels a little more planted and a little more predictable than the DHR2 did. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really liking it too. I, uh, I think I'm probably a Michelin man, at least for a while. Um, I don't have the same issues that I was having with Maxxis as far as feeling like it was gonna wash out when I really pushed hard into some of the loose stuff. Um, feels planted, feels really consistent all the way across the tread as you lean the bike from one side to the other. Um, yeah, man, I'm digging it. It's, it's a lot of fun today and, and when it's, when it inspires confidence and and ups your stoke and your your fun level man it's that's that's a win in my book so with that being said it is 97 degrees here in san antonio it's hot i'm hungry it's probably time for an adult beverage of some type but i gotta pedal back to the truck first so until then i hope to see y'all out on the next ride